if a doctor in a routine exam sees scoliosis, probably would probably refer to a orthopodin takes care of scoliosis, what test would you order so that he would have a better idea what the overall picture is about? What would you order before he's be seen by the author part. Well, here, here's the interesting thing, is that if you order a plain x-ray, which is what the orthopedic surgeon is going to order, um, it's very important that the entire spine be on that x-ray. And so most radiology suites don't have large films where they can take an entire spine on one shot. And typically, if you do take a regular film, so a 14 by 17 cassette on an adolescent child, and you have to take two pictures, one of the a thoracic spine and one of the lumbar spine, the, the orthopedic surgeon is going to repeat those x-rays. So you're in fact better off just referring the patient without any other tests. Say we, we referred to an orthopod and he was on a satellite office and he didn't have the x-ray equipment that day. So to make that visit a little bit better, I'm sure you probably do more x-rays, yeah. what would you want done before you saw the kid? Uh, well typically the standard is a full length standing um, AP and lateral of the spine. And that's that's the only tests that we need. Okay, you said standing, and you want bending? No, uh, the only time we get bending films is when we're uh, considering surgical intervention. So for a screening exam for somebody who has scoliosis but has not been seen by a surgeon yet, just typically a standing AP and lateral X-ray.